welcome back to the show and time for us to do showbiz now and uh, you know um the lady is here noella how are you doing <laughs> i'm well how are you i'm good awesome you're stuff. looking good huh thank you i always do you always do too thank you anyway mm -hmm. so uh yesterday in fact yesterday night uh the switzerland ambassador to ghana mm -hmm. our excellency simone giga uh organized an event in her residence uh the experience ghana event to introduce the things of Ghana to you know students of the University of Music in Switzerland. Okay. And uh, my colleague Nicolas Eko Yamwa. Oh. <laughs> he said he he, he asked me to mention the Eko is name. important to him. That's have. right. Mm. Eko Yamwa was there and has this report. It was a night of music for patrons at the Ghana Experience. An event hosted by the Swiss University of Music, Emu Lausanne, in collaboration with the Switzerland Embassy in Ghana. They were treated to wonderful music. The event also sought to expose students to other different cultures and their music. Speaking to Joy News, Switzerland Ambassador to Ghana, Her Excellency Simone Giga, urged Ghanaians to do more to market the prospects of the Creative Act Center. There is so much creativity in Ghana, right? Um, that is actually one of the things that impressed me the most when I came here. Like, it's a relatively small country, right? But there is so much creativity. And wherever you look, you look in the music industry, you look in the visual arts, including photography, um, you look into poetry, uh, literature, everywhere you look, there's creativity, even handicrafts, right? So. Um, are you doing enough to project that to the outside world? Um, good question. I, I think, you know, if you don't come to Ghana, it's quite hard to know about all that. So maybe in terms of like promotion to the outside world beyond Ghana, I think that, that you could do more. Head of Jazz Department at the University of Music Luzane in Switzerland, Thomas Dobler explained the reason for the event. I wanted that my students, they know that um, magnificent country and they know the people and they experience real Ghanaian life. So that's some, something I want to share with them. So that's the first goal. Second goal is that they know about musical tradition and actual music in Ghana. A student of the university also shared her experience. I, I feel the music and it's, it's funny because as a musician you're always on the stage and being once uh, in the public and you know the songs because we play with them also all week like we, we know the songs so you know everything and being in the public and being able to dance and to feel it deeply without having to play and to know where, where to enter and I love it. Ambassador Simone Giga also hinted of upcoming projects to help boost the creative art sector in Ghana. Nicholas Echo Yamas report for Joy News. Right, and there's something really profound uh, Her Excellency spoke about uh, that there's a plethora of talent and you know uh, creativity in the country. What's left is the promotion. And so yeah. I'm hoping that the right mm. ears are watching and listening. Yeah, yeah. If you go to my place, for example, Hunter West. Right. Talent abound, yeah. but how to how to promote them is a, is a problem. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, mm -hmm. let's talk. About, let's go to Nigeria uh -huh. uh, today too, mm -hmm. and talk about Usita Iheme. Oh. Apparently, he's your favorite actor. Uh, yes, yeah. I love him and Chinedu Ikedieze. Usita Iheme is Popo, right? And Chinedu is Aki. Ah, he knows his stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, Doreen caught up with him oh, uh, yeah. in Nigeria at mm -hmm. the Amis and uh, spoke to him about Mr. Abu, sort mm -hmm. his you know comments and thoughts on his uh, ailing health and mm. this is what he had to say yeah, um, sickness is something that can come come and before anybody so um that is not where it's not it's not anything um, many, um anybody can fall sick at any time but uh, we thank god that um for for life at least um keeping us alive uh, if he's not well today tomorrow will be fine so by god's grace uh, he's receiving treatment right now by god's grace he'll still be fine mm. is there any way you've reached out to him or his family uh, definitely before then uh, i've been talking to him yeah, one on one you know the sickness is not something that just started today it's been it's been long so since then we've been talking on it mm. yeah. any projects coming up 
Yeah, sure. LR, LR project coming up, personal project, and also um, the one for the public. Mm. We wish you all the best, and thank you so much for talking to Joy Prime. Thank you so much. Mm. What do you want to tell Ghanaians? It is uh, uh, Ghana, I miss you so much. It's been long. I've not been there, but I promise very soon I shall see you. Bless you. Keep it. <laughs> Interesting. You know, I can't really get the childlike characters they he acted from yeah. you know his personality yeah. in real life but anyway that'd be all for showbiz okay all right thank you so much and on that note we wrap up the bulletin there's more news on myjoyonline.com up next is prime business with the award-winning